In Quran, there is a verse, chapter 2, verse 10. It says, in their hearts is a disease, and Allah increases their disease. A painful punishment is theirs because they lie. If our deeds are not pure, that disease actually increases in our heart. That disease increases in our heart. So let it be lying, let it be gibbered, let it be judging anybody or not being ethical, whatever you want to say about the deeds, whatever kind of amal we are not keeping it pure, it will keep increasing. Once the heart is diseased, it will keep on becoming more diseased. As I said earlier, even a particle or one negative thought can take away the whole 23 hours of our earnings. One negative thought. Because it says in Quran that in their heart is a disease and Allah increases their disease. Those who lie. So if we are today trying to learn and identify, truly reflect, no pretension, nobody is asking any question. It is truly with me in my heart to my Mola Baba, with, without any pretension, Open up your heart and say to Mala Baba that this is who I am, but I want to be one with you and I want to get well. If there is a disease, there is a treatment. If there is a question, there is an answer. Actually, in reality, there was a health and the disease came later on. So it, it cannot be that any one of us, whatever challenges we face, there is no treatment or remedy in our tarika for it. When our heart or intellect is sick, our soul becomes sick. When our ideologies are wrong, our beliefs are wrong, our ethics are wrong, our bodies get sick. We can use different words, different terminologies, but what happens when a vegetable wants to grow, it depends on the vegetable soul. When an animal is growing, it depends on the animal soul to grow. But a, when a human is sick, when a human soul is sick, actually that human being the Ashtaful Makhlukat is depending on the animal soul to help him grow. It's like you have a higher status, but you're going down. Sultan Muhammad Shah, may our souls be sacrificed to this Imam, Mullah has said very clearly that we have two paths in front of us. One takes us to the direction of an animal and other can make it an angel. We have potential for both. Again, with true knowledge, we are able to identify what is the step I'm stuck on. If I'm able to fix that step, I can climb onto the next step. And this path is so clear. It is clear step by step. With true knowledge, we are able to identify where are we at flaws and we, we know how to fix it too. Yes, the work is upon us. Every individual has to put the amount of work needed to fix the flaw. When we fix it, surely guaranteed there is a progress. The way in a worldly life, a child goes to, let's say, grade one, studies and takes exam, he's promoted to the second grade. Same principle applies in Rouhani spiritual life. If we are able to take that exam, do the preparation, take in the exam, surely we are promoted to the second grade. And we will know, we will know. Our friends have told us that when they attend these classes and they understand, their thoughts have changed. When you are able to identify that your thoughts are changed, I would say, Mubarak Baad. In the path of spirituality, the first change or first world is actually the world of imagination, world of thoughts. Second is world of dreams, and then the world of spirituality. So it is so important to take care of our heart because it's connected to our thoughts. In order for us to have beautiful imagination, which would take us to good visions, that can only happen when we are able to identify 
where are we stuck what are our flaws without any pretension we need to fix it we have to be honest inside out not just outside inside out a moment has to be like a mirror if you stand in front of the mirror you see yourself inside out it has to be one person now another uh, question i recall when we had this discussion somebody said but we speak truth we are moments so we have to speak the truth that does not mean that you talk about the flaws of others which you see you cannot do that here comes your intelligence or intellect mola has said peer sadadin has eyes and ears like you meaning he could hear the giba people gossiping but what he did our peers have taught us ninda thai tyathi uthe ne jai he had the same ears like us anybody talking anything he could hear it but he had his own principles and he taught us that too ninda thai tyathi uthe ne jai let it be family gathering friends gathering whoever whatever it is you got to get up and go because you love your imam more than to fit in the family or friends it's a, it's about making choices now again another question i recall this does not mean that when you are working in your employer and you have to give evaluation that's totally different situation attitude matters there too you are giving feedback talking about areas of improvement constructive criticism one can do that so that's a different totally different ball game it's a worldly work but in order for us to become a moment we cannot have our ears open to anything and everything ditra dosh kisi ko na dijiye with our eyes we are saying we are seeing wrong things happening but we are not going to talk about it because our mouth is closed with the zikr so socially we don't need to fit in if we are trying to become a moment or i always say be in the gathering of like minded people who remind you who help you move further those friends are no good who are going to keep taking away your hard work your earnings your ibadat your bandagi your zikr those friends are not good and mola ali has so beautifully has explained this in kalam e mola if you were to read next sabah the chapter on the next sabah beautifully mola has talked about it everyone has free will with the free will we have to make this choice what do we want to do when we were children and we are being taught the right things to do a teacher keeps repeating it it feels like nagging the reason it feels like nagging because a student is not showing any progress that student when grows up and becomes adult will understand intelligently make a choice with his or her free will our religion today has grown completely in quran there is a verse which says to prophet muhammad that i have completed my religion for you imam sultan muhammad shah has said in his first farman at the age of 8 years and if you were to read that farman critically a 8 year old child cannot make that kind of farman you can see no line after line of that farman and at that time mola says this is the end time time of kiamat if we will not wake up during this time when are we going to wake up the religion has grown completely fully and there is an expectations from us to be intellectuals to grow and to be able to get one with imam it is imam's blessings it comes in a disguise covid 19 is a huge blessing we are able to see it 
others may not be able to see it. So whenever there are situations where you get a time to reflect, think, I would say, think critically and identify if we are pretending or we are being honest. Remember, we don't need to share these thoughts with anybody. It's us with ourselves and our Imam. There's a beautiful Ginan, and this is related to a question actually I was asked yesterday. Let me read the Ginan verse and then I'll tell you the question too. The Ginan says, Eji kutum parivar sajna me sab kuch chhodiya dil bandhya mere sai su man tum su jodiya sri nabi ke saiya tuk dur mat jaiyo jab aavegi vedna tab tum dekhna aayo peer says that i have left my family my all relations for you I have forsaken everything for you. I have bound my heart to you, my Lord. I have bound my heart, my mind to you. O beloved of the honored prophet, do not stay away from me. Even a little while, when any harm comes to me, Yamola, you be my protector. So this friend of mine says, that I feel like I have no love for my family. I have detached myself from my family. And I just can't wait to die. I feel like I just want to run away from everything and just, just do Ibadat. Or I just want to die, be done with it. That's a wrong thinking and wrong attitude. A moment always desires. Actually, there's a verse in Quran that a moment in Quran, there's the verse, it says that every soul has to taste death. Every soul has to taste death. A moment desires death. This is mentioned in Quran. So to desire death, it's the indication of a moment. But what kind of death? not physical death because our life is a huge blessing our breath is a huge blessing and we are here in this world with our imam what a beautiful blessing then why are we desiring that why are we saying this is an indication for a moment this dua or this desire is actually related to our carnal soul a moment always prays ya mola i want to die which death Mutu kabla anta mutu. Die while you are living. We are all seeking, we are all desiring the death of the carnal soul. So it is okay to desire that. When Peer says that I have forsaken the relations of my family and my friends and whatnot, he's not saying that he's not fulfilling his duties. He's doing his duties. And duty does not mean that you are working or feeding your children, taking care of them, but your attitude, your thought is in your heart is that, let me be done with this. I just want to finish it up so I can run away. That attitude reflects in your behavior. And that's not an attitude of a moment. When priest says, Ki kutum parivar sajna me sab chodya in his heart, when a mother is cooking, she's doing her zikr. She's doing that zikr with love and affection while cooking, saying to Mola Baba that Mola, put my, my dua, she's my zikr and mehmani, which I'm presenting to you in this food, which my family is going to eat. When one goes to work, he or she says, Mola, whatever work I do, whatever earning I get, Mola Baba, make it so blessed. So blessed that Mola, my family grows spiritually, intellectually, and physically, Mola, bless them all. That work, that cooking, which you were doing for, for worldly things, it became an ibadah. A moment is always doing ibadah, 24 hours. A moment is never outside ibadah. Through his intention, 
through his thoughts and his behavior. He's doing worldly work, but actually it becomes ibadat for him. So we can never say that I want to quit everything and just do ibadat. That is in our tariqa, big no. We cannot become monk or sadhu and leave everything and, and just do ibadat. In our heart, with love and happiness, zikr of imam, name of imam, but taking care of family with full love and affection. When a woman is truly wants to love, when a woman truly wants to fall in love with imam, her or his heart is actually very open, very sensitive, very vulnerable. That moment feels every pain to the fullest of extent because he's or she is so pure. That pain actually becomes the energy, the connection with the imam. So we have to love fully and feel fully. If we are not able to do that in our worldly lives, how do we expect ourselves to do that to Imam? So whatever we do, we've got to do it with 100% concentration and attention. But thoughts of Imam in our mind. And Imam has said that if you are going from one meeting in your office to another, even if you get seconds and if you say, yeah, Ali, nobody will know that. Remember him in your heart, but do your work with full of your attention, love and affection. Burden, it's not a burden to take care of family. It's not a burden to work. So do not misunderstand when peace says, Eji kutumu parivar sajana me sab kuch chodi. It is, he's talking about the heart. Yes, when you talk about leaving family and friends, those who sit down to gossip, to do pancha, I would say leave them. Because that company, is surely going to take you away from your mola. So protect yourself. Have your guards on all the time. As Mola has said uh, in Farma, that if you are traveling and you have money with you, treasure with you, forget about sleeping. You would not even yawn. Why? Because you're so conscious. If you yawn, if you feel sleepy, somebody can steal your money, your treasure. Keep our guards on. That's what he's saying. All the time, keep your guards on if we want to progress on in this path. Before any action, think of it, how it's going to benefit me. What is my intention? Is it going to benefit me in a worldly life or spiritual life? Why am I doing this? Then he says, Suli upar satharo it's like on my bed there are thrones. How can I sleep like that? I cannot sleep. In the same way, my soul is awakening. In the same way, my soul is awakening. Particle by particle. This progress cannot, we cannot jump any step. It has to happen step by step. Particle by particle, there will be change in us. And that's what Peter is talking about. That he's so conscious of his deeds, he's worrying about it, that he has to. Remember, our priests are teaching us. It's not about him. He's making his example and teaching us. So please don't think that I'm trying to talk about Peer in that way. Not my ability, Ali Allah, Madad Farma. But Peer is trying to teach us and saying to us that when we are able to identify what sins we are doing, you cannot sleep because you are wanting to be close to your Imam. That will take away your sleep. So in other words, we are feeling this responsibility, standing, want to stay conscious and come to life particle by particle. Protect yourself from any sins. Then P says, 
हम तम मिली गले में एक बावरी भैया फिर हसन शाह की बेनती तुम सुनियो सानिया वेन देर वॉज अ मुलाकात वेन देर वॉज अ मीटिंग स्पिरिचुअल मीटिंग आशिक एंड माशुक लवर एंड द बिलवर्ड दे वर हगिंग इच अदर एंड पी से बावरी भैया आई गॉन क्रेज इन इज लव I've lost my senses. What is he saying here? He has lost his physical senses, the attachment to the physical senses. Mutu kabla antamutu. He is able to open up, awaken his spiritual senses by, on the above part, he said, "Panri panri piuji mora jiu khilave." When you when we are able to identify what spiritual sickness we have and we are able to treat that then what happens that majiza then we is talking about that we are hugging we are loving the lover and the beloved are together meeting and then he says oh mola listen to my vinti such a beautiful gina full of giriya zari if we were to connect to it i would like to sing a part with your permission and do some giryan zari bismillahir rahmanir rahim e ji kutumb parivar sajna mein sab kuch chhodiya kutumb parivar sajna mein sab kuch chhodiya dil wa for a second mola for a split of second mola do not go away from us mola we need you mola we need your protection mola we are so exposed from all these diseases mola we are so vulnerable mola we lose our guard we do not stay conscious mola ya mola it is only your name your love your duashes will protect us mola we want to be protected mola ya mola meherban help us mola help us mola ya mola without your help we cannot achieve any goal mola and to be elevated in spirituality to become pure mola ya mola when we look at ourselves we see everything how much darkness and bad deeds and what not is there mola baba ya mola ya mola ya mola we want to wash away our heart clean it pure make it pure so pure mola that you can sit in our heart mola ya mola meherban ya mola meherban we are sure mola you are listening mola ya mola at the bottom of our heart mola we are praying mola we want to progress mola we do want to progress we want to be close to you mola help us mola help us mola so we can purify ourselves mola without your help and mercy mola we cannot achieve this mola ya mola meherban ya mola meherban madad farma mushkil kusha madad farma meherban mola madad farma mola teri madad ke bagair mola ye mushkilat aasan nahi ya mola teri madad ke bagair ye mushkilat aasan nahi mola dil mein irade hu tu qabla ant hu tu ke hai mola ya mola peeron ke raste pe chalna hai mola paigambaron ke raste pe chalna hai mola हम जब अपने आप को देखते हैं मौला तो एक छोटा सा पार्टिकल मौला हमारी कहा काबिलियत मौला कि हम ऐसे काम करें इतने ऊंचे मकाम पर पहुंचे मौला या मौला तू बादशाहों का बादशाह तू रहमान तू रही मौला तेरे लिए क्या मुश्किल है मौला हम गरीबों पे रहम फरमा मौला ए मुश्किल खुशिया हमारी मदद फरमा 
یا امام زمان یا مولانا انت قوتی و انت سندی و لیتتکالی یا حاضر یا موجود یا شیخ کریم حسین انت الامام الحق المبین علی اللہ ملک سجودی و تواتی شکر للہ والحمدللہ شکر للہ والحمدللہ